Good morning, it is Friday, January 18th, and I thought I would do a vlog just giving you an update about what I'm up to. Um, I'm gonna show you my first influencer email, uh, mail, slow mail, goodness gracious, I have pregnancy brain so I can't, <laughs> I don't know any words right now. And um, I thought we would talk to you about our cottage and take you up there. Um, we're actually seeing a cottage that we might purchase, so I don't know how much of this cottage I can show you, but maybe I'll be able to show you the view. Which might not look like anything considering like it's winter and it's minus 20 degrees Celsius Celsius up there, which is, yes, very cold. Um, it's northern Ontario, so it's really funny. Uh, Ontario people like to buy cottages more north <laughs> of them in like more of like a rugged terrain. So um, I'm excited to show you that and we'll see how much of the trip we show you tomorrow. It's like a four hour trip. So <laughs> um, the girls might be just screaming the whole time and I might be crying. Um, but I just wanted to talk to you about um, my last vlog where Wes and I mentioned our pregnancy um, and I just kind of talked to you about the whole story behind it all and how it was a surprise. I just want to thank you so much for all your messages. It was really nice to just hear everyone out there just sending me encouraging words and all the really funny surprise baby stories. I, half the people out there are surprises. So that's really funny. And thank you so much again for your messages. That was really helpful. Um, yeah, I'm going to go talk to a counselor today, so we'll see how that goes. I'm feeling really good. I haven't had any headaches since that vlog, which is really funny. Um, my eyesight is still kind of really fuzzy. Like, I can see everything, but my eyes are just really tired. And then I have, like, I have makeup covering up, but I have, like, this um, almost, like, eye eczema, eczema, however you pronounce it. <laughs> so whenever something stops, um, something new happens, but that's okay. That's pregnancy. And I'm feeling really good otherwise, so thanks again for your messages. Um, so I wanted to talk to you about uh, my first influencer um, uh, mail. So I use Reward Style, which is like a affiliate network that brands and bloggers use, or anyone who really um, can use it, I guess. You apply to be in it, but um, you can use it through like YouTube or blo like your blog or Instagram, depending on, on where you are. And so like as, as a blogger, what I really want to do is like point people to um, ethical shopping, um, like really nice companies, like good products. Um, it's been really nice chatting with everyone basically about like shopping and like products that we love and brands that we love. So um, through that and through clicking my links, you get um, the links are tracked um, and I get like a commission based sale if you buy something um, from one of my links on like my blog or um, I don't really have anything on Instagram, but um, through YouTube and stuff. So it doesn't cost you any extra money. It just like is just like kind of an agreement. So reward style is like the go between and they're the ones that um, pay us. So what happens is like Everlane is a part of the program. Cezanne is a part of the program. Cost, Club Monaco, those are like my favorite brands that use it. Do Doan isn't a part of the program. Um, so anyway, Everlane noticed that I sell some of their shoes so like the boss boot which is one of my favorite boots they're like oh this is so great that you're selling this so why don't you um pick something from our january lineup and we'll send it to you and we can do a collaboration and i'm like that sounds amazing so that was basically it like i'm not tied to doing anything i don't think they know i'm doing a video so they sent me um their day heel so i'm excited to show you that because that is a style i've always wanted to try and i picked a really bold color um, I'm going to put it in a photo shoot coming up. So uh, it came like super fast, like three days later. So I'm like, that is the fastest shipping I've ever had. Even like shopping through <laughs> Everlane because <laughs> I'm in Canada and everything going through the border takes forever. So um, I'm excited to show you that. Yeah, let's uh, show you my Everlane shoes. So I have the day flat, which is like the most comfortable shoe ever. And then I have the boss boot. And, um, I've worn the bus boot. Like I wear the boss boot and my Cezanne my season low arthur low henry i always get the name mixed up um brown boots like almost every day this summer so i alternate between those two um so yeah i've always tried, wanted to try the day heel because it's a little bit more professional i'm 5'3 i like a little bit of height but something that's manageable um because i'm a mom and if i want it to be every day then um yeah it just needs to have a little bit of height so um their stuff is made in italy which is really nice um it's really good quality. When I got my boss boot rehealed, the person who did my shoes, he told me that it was just really nice quality leather. So I've always liked their shoes that way. And I think it's like really good quality and really good value. Ah, <laughs> they're so bright. <laughs> so 
I got the red. Um, it's more of an orangey red than I thought. But yeah, this is the day heel. So they have a couple different styles. They have, they have like a higher version. And then they have like metallic, which have a different color um, heel on it. So I'm like, oh man, I was going to wear it with this. Show you how that works. But this is bright. Whew. Um, I'll show you anyway what it looks like. But this is really soft. Oh, just like the day heel is really lovely. So, um, yeah, first impression is that they are definitely more orange than red. They're called, the color is called bright red. So, um, I'll show you what these look like on. I took my normal size, which is seven and a half. That's what I am in the boss boot and that's what I am in the day heel. And they work perfectly. The day heel was a little tight to begin with, especially around actually this part. Um, but it like worked in really fast. So I will show you all what these look like on. Oh man, these, <laughs> okay. These are so bright. They're super comfortable though. Just like the, um, day flat. Wow. They're so comfortable, but they, yeah, they are bright and they're definitely not that red. So that's interesting that they call it bright red. So bright red is, is what you're looking for. It's more of an orangey red, which looks good with jeans, I think but they're just brighter than what I normally wear. Man, they are cute though. They are so comfortable. I can definitely see walking all day in them. So I think they're a really good um, work shoe option. I think they're really classic looking, which is really nice. Cute, 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 cute. Fun. All right, let's uh, get on with the rest of my day. Oh, this is actually a new Doan purchase. Um, this is purchased from a girl in the state somewhere she sent it from portland but she i know she was visiting at that point this is the doan capo top and i got it new with tags with from her so and then this is like the rainbow plaid my girls have two dresses and this lux has one and then joe grew it and she gave it to poppy and then i got lux another one because i just love this so much so baby bump friendly that's nice and this is really comfortable i love this um color so much this like print and this is an extra small size. So it's like pretty voluminous. It's like a really good like teacher shirt. If like your job is talking with your hands, I think this is like a really fun dramatic option. Um, and yeah, I love this print a lot. This is something I've always liked, but I didn't know if it was gonna be too overwhelming um, in a top, but I think it's a little overwhelming in a dress, even though I know someone who has the Yarrow dress in this print and she looks amazing in it and has tempted me a couple times to get my own version. Um, I'll show you what that looks like in the links below. Actually, there's a secondhand version on the real real, which I will link below. It's a secondhand consignment place. And it's like one of my new favorite places to find secondhand dough. And so like this a lot, I was, I got this yesterday. I picked it up yesterday at my package pickup in Niagara Falls and I just craving wearing it today. So I'm really, really comfortable and happy in it. <laughs> That's Lux's map that she made. So she's guiding us to the cottage. So we're on our way to the cottage. It looks really good, Lux. The star, what did the stars mean again? Uh, that means the stars meant we get some light. That's right. It looks so good. So we're on our way up to the um, a cottage to check it out, um, possibly to purchase it. Um, it's four hours away. We have an hour and a half left, and it's actually been a really good trip. Poppy's back there playing with stuff. I have a whole whole treasure trove basket of fun <laughs> items. <laughs> and Lux is making maps. Um, is there anything you want to say about the cottage? Just gonna check it out and see if it's decent. It's getting colder and colder as we get farther Freezing. north. It's this like is northern. Yeah. With the wind chill right yeah, it's minus 20 according to the car, minus 30 out there. This is Celsius. So, uh, yeah, in Ontario, we like to go more north for some reason for our cottages, but it's beautiful. I'll, sh I'll turn you around and see, show you just like the trees and, and the terrain because it's stunning. So I think we could probably show you the view, but because the house isn't ours, I don't really want to show you too much of it yet. If we do purchase it, then we'll definitely do like a a good tour of it if we buy it um, and that's it this is a family friend of ours who decided to sell their cottage and then we just f found out of it through um, just like friends like Wes's best friend his brother's um, wife that's her parents cottage <laughs> so um, we're really excited to see it it's beautiful 
it's really well taken care of. They actually live at this cottage year round. So it's more like a house, but it still has those rugged elements that we like. It is a little far. I wanted it to be a little bit closer than four hours away, um, but it's not a big deal, uh, especially because Wes and I, like cottage country up here, it can be really busy, um, especially on the weekends when you're trying to get up here. Some people just don't do it because of the traffic. Um, but because Wes and I have really flexible jobs and we can usually um, leave whenever we want and we want we would want to work up here too. So we need the space. We have the flexibility in our and our schedule. Um, yeah, and we're just really excited. I spent my summers at our family cabin in Saskatchewan. So I loved it and Wes has just always loved it. He's spent his summers at other friends' cottages and we have a friend who lives, their family cottage is about 20 minutes away. And so, um, yeah, we're just really excited to check this out and hopefully give the girls a beautiful cottage and like just great summers that we had growing up. So. That's, I think, our main, main goal with these. That's Anything else to add? Do you want to stop at the Swiss Bear? <coughs> I saw a sign. Is that a restaurant? It's a, it's a restaurant. Sure, let's check it out. Yeah. Bakery. Because we're going to get some lunch. All the fruits and veggies, can you name them all? Corn. Yeah. This is so funny. Yeah. And we're down the lane. <laughs> yeah, this looks like this is their own lane. It's bought by someone. We're here, you guys. We're here. Yeah, this is their own. This is the cottage. Look at the cottage. Oh, it's cute. There's Christmas wreaths, you guys. It's still Christmas here. Wow. Yeah, oh, my gosh, look at that across the, the view. Good morning. I think the last thing you saw of us was um, traveling up to the cottage to visit. It was beautiful. We had the best time. This is like friends of friends, so we had never really hung out with them before. We've been to all the, like a lot of the same weddings, but um, it was really nice to be up there. And so we're actually going to try and buy it, which was really exciting. I can't wait to show you more of that. It's going to be like months down the road because we're going to have like a long closing. They still have to find a new house and they have to travel to do that because they're moving to a different town, so not within the same area. So um, that is still coming. So I'll give you updates on that um, as I have them. Otherwise, um, I'm sending some returns today. This is a J Crew return. I'm just doing errands today. But otherwise, I'm going to exchange those Everlane shoes. I talked to the woman at Everlane who sent these to me for free, and it was so nice. She, I was, I just explained to her that the color threw me and they don't go with anything in my wardrobe. So she um, was so nice and decided to exchange them for me. So I'm just gonna get some really nice suede brown cognac ones. So I can't wait to show you those ones. Um, otherwise, yeah, I'm gonna go and do, go to a coffee shop and do some work. I'm really tired today. I, um, <laughs> so my goal in the morning is to have a really quiet morning and Lux sleeps in our room right now. We want the girls to share a room. It's a long story, but Lux is in our room. And so she hears us, um, hears any of us get up or there's any sort of movement. She's like awake and excited. She's a morning person. And I'm not really a morning person. I like getting up early, but I like having my mornings to myself. So in order to do that, I have to be really quiet. And so this morning I got up and got out and no one woke up and I was like so excited. I looked at my clock and I was like, yeah, 6.15. And then I would go downstairs and turn on some more lights and my eyes adjust and it's 5.15. And so I'm so tired. I woke up an hour earlier than I needed to. I got dressed and everything. And so I just had my cups of coffee that I wasn't allowed to. I'm allowed to have two cups of coffee and now I'm exhausted. <laughs> so I'm gonna try and push through as much as I can. Usually that involves me leaving the house so I can get some fresh air and a newer environment helps me wake up. So I'm gonna try and do that. Anyway, that's what I'm doing today. I'm so tired even mentioning this, so I need to go out, get some fresh air, have a good snack, and hopefully I will wake up and get some stuff done. I will talk to you in a bit. All right, so I think I timed this really terribly because I can see the people, the builders are back to work after their lunch break, so you might hear some construction noise. I'm just gonna show you what I was going to sell. I'm gonna try a couple things on for you. I haven't decided if I'm gonna sell the tansy or not, um, but I'm gonna sell the prem. I think this guy. So this is the Everlane, it's like a v-neck cashmere sweater. Let me see if I can 
open it for you. So this is what it looks like. I just got a dry clean so it's ready to go. It's a really beautiful red, but uh, the V-neck is just a little bit too deep on me. I have really shallow shoulders, so it falls off all the time. So I should have gotten the um, crew neck version of this. So they still sell this. It's cashmere. It's really nice, but I just don't reach for it because it just keeps falling off of me because of my lifestyle on my shoulders and my kids pull on it all the time. The second one is this really cute Zara jumpsuit dress. So this looks like a dress and then has built-in shorts underneath it's so cute um yeah i just don't wear it as much as i want it's really short um so i wish i wore it more but yeah not my thing anymore then this is the this is hard to see this is the veda wrap top 2.0 so i have this in a video somewhere and i'll link that below but it, like it's really nice you can wear it like a million different ways and uh yeah again it's just not something i reach for i'm not gonna sell that one this is the Abby, the Cezanne Abby top. I have a photo of me in this one from Instagram. So I really like this one. This is actually just a little bit too small under my, um, right here on this band. It should fit more of a size two, I'm a size four. And you can wear it two ways. You can wear it this way in the front and this way in the front. And it's really cute. I've worn it like maybe twice, but it's just a little too, too small and I don't see myself wearing it this summer. This is the season line blouse. This was just in the archives, actually. I think it was on, I think they were selling it for, for $85, so I think I'll do that too. This is a size 34, which is a size US 2, and you can wear it with the square in the front with the buttons in the front, or with the ruffles in the front. So this is really cute. They also had it in white. I'm gonna put, yeah, all the Cezanne stuff I'm gonna put on the Cezanne website, Facebook Addict website, unless you see this first. I'll probably put, I'll publish this first and whatever doesn't sell, um, I'll put on the Facebook group. So keep an eye out for that. And then this is the Cezanne, this is the newest tags. This is like, what is this? This is like a, the mod skirt. So it's a US six. And this was my, my, one of my first items of bottoms from them and it was too small. <laughs> so this is a little bit too small. I got it when I was pregnant and I didn't realize I was pregnant. So I was still early. So I think I was... That was that reason, but um, so I can't show you how that looks on, but I will show you the measurements. That one was sold out like constantly, so hopefully someone who's been looking for it can grab that. And then this is my Cezanne Mathilde, Mathilde dress. So this has a wool blend in it with pockets and like an A-line shape. It's so pretty. Um, I got this one in Paris actually, but I just, yeah, this is one of those things that I don't wear. This is a t-shirt from Cezanne, the Luigi. This is surprisingly flattering. This is the back of it. And I think it was so cute. I have a picture of myself in that one too, which I'll link below. And I love the color. I love the neckline. This neckline is really, really flattering. Um, and it's just like a nice sunny t-shirt for summer. But yeah, I just don't love it anymore. This is the Agath dress. This is I got at the archives last year. Let me see. Let me show you this. This one's in a video. This is a really, really pretty silk dress. Um, I got it altered, so this has a really low front, and I got it altered so it's like a little bit closer together, and um, altered a little bit smaller in the bust. So if you are B34 or smaller, this is probably more appropriate for you. It's really, really cute, um, but I just don't wear it that often. And then this is the Prem dress, which I got um, a couple weeks ago, maybe a month or a couple months ago, actually. I've worn it once. Um, yeah. So I really, I really like this one, but it's just not one that I love. The Tansy, I tried this on in New York a long time ago when I was first discovering Doen, and I think it is so beautiful, but for some reason, I'm just not into it right now. I don't know why. And then I just got this one secondhand from someone else. This is the Doen Wild Eve dress, and this is a size small. So with Doen, I'm usually, so this is an extra small. This is a medium, and then this is a small, and it's too small on me. So their sizes are kind of everywhere. The Prem, I forget what size that is. I want to say that's a small, and the Tansy is a small. But um, this is an older version of, of Doen, so their sizes aren't as, um, I think, cohesive anymore. Um, but yeah, just doesn't work, especially with my baby bump. It's one of those that I'm like, oh, it'll work in like a year and a half. <laughs> but I don't really want, I want to wear everything now so um and i'm or actually ordered the black and medium of that so i know that one's gonna fit better and that one i will definitely use so 
Um, I'll show you what a couple of these look like on. And good morning. Um, this is two days later. I'm finally trying stuff on for you. <laughs> so um, I have the Prem dress on. I'll show you it in a minute. Um, and I haven't decided how many other things I'm going to try on because I'm pregnant. So I feel like um, that doesn't really show um, the item as well. But I'll have the, if I have them in videos, like the line blouse, I'll show you what that looks like. Um, otherwise, yeah, here is the Prem dress on. So this is the prem dress on. I'm 5'3". I haven't had this hemmed, so this is just the length of it. Um, the model online is 5'8". So just for reference, they usually, they have it modeled on um, a taller person. So um, I just think this is really flattering. If you can see the shape of me, there's another sunbeam today. Um, but this is really cute. It has two ties, so it's pretty low. Um, I bought it because I was like, I thought it was like a really good idea to um, I thought it was flattering and I love the fabric of this because I have the thistle top and the rose in this and then I thought it would be easy to breastfeed in this so because of the low thing but it can be tied for modesty and yeah I just I think this is really cute it's really flattering I'm just not in love with it it's just not really my style so that's why but yeah look look how big my baby bump is and you can't even tell from the front so I think this is just really really flattering I love the tiered skirt but um yeah let me see what's next and this is the tansy in the golden hour color and i think this is a really cute dress i tried this on at one size below i thought an extra small would be better but this horizontal line was too high so i thought about it thought about thought about it and then this went on sale and I got it in, yeah, the small. And I was like, oh, this is great. And then I, when I tried it on, I didn't love it as much as I had remembered. So yeah, it's really hard when you make these purchases. Like I do buy a lot, but I do return a lot. And then I think sometimes when you're not able to like be in a store and try everything on, it's really hard to make that decision and know what you love. Because this, yeah, I just, on camera, it's not really that flattering. It come, this came in white too, but it's like it's really easy. So I just don't know if um, I just don't know if I'm gonna wear it a lot. I think I'll I think I'll wear it a lot, but I just feel like I'd hate all the photos of me in it. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, do you have that like favorite item that's like so like unflattering or just like you're like, why did I wear that in that photo? I feel like that's this, and I don't think it's terribly unflattering. I just think it's like I just don't love it. So that's how I feel about this one. So I might put this one up. This is new with tags. I still have the, I still have the tag somewhere, but um, so I never wore this. But I think it's cute. Um, yeah. And then yeah. Conversely, like I have this top. I got this, um, new with tags. I bought the second hand off of someone, and this is a shirt that, um, I re just rejected. Like I remember looking at it like a million times, and being like, that's not for me. The like print is too bright etc and then I got my girls um I got Lux dressed in this because she loves rainbows and then she loved it so much and then Poppy um I had handed down to Poppy and so I got Lux a new one um in the sale and I just love this so much I love the print I know the print so well and then it just makes me happy like this print reminds me of my children um if you know the story of this if you've read on their listing this print was something that was inspired by something the um Cleveland girl's grandmother wore so I just I love everything about that and I'm actually getting this in the yarrow dress which is in an extra small so hopefully that fits but yeah it's just hard to know it's hard to figure out exactly what you're gonna love until you start wearing it and then even even if you don't like it you might love it afterwards <laughs> I don't really have a moral of this story my the whole point is that it's hard to make a decision on what to wear so I think I will give this guy up too. Hopefully this doesn't haunt me, but I can think of a couple other dresses that I would want from them or I have found secondhand that I would um, definitely prefer. So yeah, so look for this one and the Prim on sale um, tonight and then whatever else I have listed, I'll have them like for the Cezanne stuff. I'll have that listed as soon as possible in the Cezanne group, but I am going to go and take photos of these and then I'm going to list everything. And I'm going to go work in a coffee shop because I'm so tired again today. Another one of those days where I woke up at 5. Wes was snoring, which is funny because he doesn't really snore. And, like, I kept, I kept, like, poking him and, like, rubbing his back and stuff to get him to stop. And then he wasn't. And then I was just, like, awake at 5. 
So I'm exhausted and the only way I can not fall asleep um, is to go to a coffee shop and get, cause I don't know, it's hard to fall asleep in a coffee shop in a public place. So um, yes, I, I know I need to let my body rest, but I'm just too tired. I, like I just need to get some stuff done. So <laughs> that's the way I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try and go to bed early again tonight. We, Wes and I had date night last night, but like our date nights are pretty short because we live so close and I can't like drink or we can't go to like second a second place to like like drink or do any other things so and plus I'm really tired so anyway ramble um yeah I'll have this stuff listed and I hope you enjoyed this vlog if you did give it a thumbs up and I will talk to you next time